In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a gallery on your website that you can use to show off your pictures. Everybody gets free website hosting when they sign up with All Pro Web Tools. Part of this includes the ability to add gallery pages to your website. In order to create a gallery, the first thing you need to do is upload the images you need. We can do this by going to Websites and Manage Images and Files. I would recommend creating a folder to hold your gallery images, just like I have set up here. This is really just for organization to make things easier to find. If I click on this gallery folder, you'll see that I already have several images uploaded. If you need help uploading your images, you can watch the video on the Manage Images and Files. And once you have everything uploaded that you need, we can go to Website and then Gallery, and this is where we will create the galleries we want on our website. This shows a list of my existing galleries that I can go in and edit, but for now I'm going to click on Create New Gallery. I'm going to fill in the gallery name. This is just something for me to be able to identify what this gallery is about. Next, I need to put in the image width. We recommend using 200. Next, you must select how many images you want to appear on each page. Lastly, you must decide how the thumbnails are displayed, whether they should be cropped or not cropped. We recommend using cropped. When you finish setting up your gallery, click Create Gallery. And now we can start adding images to this. So under the Add Images to Gallery tab, we can browse through all the pictures that are uploaded in the Manage Images and Files. For instance, I can go into the Gallery folder that I have created and select pictures that I want to put into this gallery. Notice I can select multiple pictures at once and then click Add to Gallery. Now that I have the images added to my gallery, I can do a couple more things. For one, I can add captions to my pictures. And I can also drag and rearrange the pictures if I want them to appear in a different order. And of course, if I want to remove a picture, I can click on the Delete button. And if I find I need to add more images, I can just click the Add Images tab again. Now let's create a web page to display this gallery. So I'm going to go to the Add button on the top menu and select Web Page. I'm going to name this page More Flowers. And under Settings, I'm going to make sure it shows on the menu bar. Now I can go down to the editor, and instead of inserting several images, I can go to Widgets and find the Gallery widget. Notice it puts a widget code automatically into the content, including a specific number. For now, I'm going to save this page, and I'm going to click on the Preview button. Go to the More Flowers page I just created. It's not showing the images that I just put in the gallery, so let's double check that I have everything set up correctly. Remember the number I pointed out. This is referring to gallery number one. So if I go back to website and gallery, the gallery I want is flower gallery two, which is number one, two, three, four in the list. So on that gallery widget, I actually want a number four there instead of the number one. So I'm going to go back to website and my web pages and find the page I want to edit. And in the content, change that gallery number one to gallery number four and hit save. Now if I preview my site and go to the More Flowers page, I have all the images of my gallery up on display. And notice if I hover over an image, the caption that I put will appear as text. I can also click on the thumbnail to bring up a full-size version of that image.